Greetings from ThemeRex team. Today I'll show you how to add live blogging, broadcasting and live streaming functionality to your WordPress site free of charge. I'll use FC United Sports theme. You can find its review in the description below. We will connect a 25 live blog service to our site. It allows you real-time blogging and it has a free plan which is perfect for us. I already have a free account so I'll just sign in. On the top of your screen you will see a dashboard, live blogging options, you can create virtual events, newsrooms, add engagement and upgrade your membership with the service. On the left side you'll have your live blog projects, newsroom, team projects, contacts, calendar, analytics and monetization tools. In the middle you have your events section. Let's create our first event. As you can see you have four options here. Live blog, storytelling, virtual event and chat room. I'll go with the live blogging. Next let's give it a title. There will be a Porto against Liverpool football game. So let's go with it. Next you can add a description. After that choose a start date. and start time. Then choose a category of your event. We have a soccer game. Next you can choose a league. If you don't find your league there, just have it blank. I'll choose the UEFA Champions League. Next you'll need to choose the match date. As you can see the system cannot find any matches for this date, but if we switch to Tuesday we can find a real match scheduled for this date. Again, if you don't find your event in the list just leave it blank. The system pulls the necessary data. We also can add a cover image for our event, so let's add one. Ok, our event is ready and we can press the next button. On the next screen you can customize your event details. We will keep the default settings and press next. On the next screen you can add user engagement features. We will just skip them. Here you can choose and customize the theme for your event. I like the first one. Then we can choose the updating icon and add some custom features. On the next screen we can enable or disable some marketing tools, then click create event. Good, our event is created and we can copy the javascript code for our site. Now let's go back to our site for a second. I'm going to create a new post and add the javascript code that I just copied. Let's give it a name first. Then press to add a new block custom HTML and simply paste the code there. Let's publish our post and then check what we got. Ok, we can see that the code works just fine and our event is live on our site. I'll remove the sidebar to make it look better. In the theme options click hide for a sidebar position switcher. Save the changes and refresh the page. Ok, now it looks nice. We have the main details in the middle and the live chat on the right side. Let's return back to 25 live blog service event. On the top bar we have the same menu as we've seen before. On the left side we have a post wizard that allows you to create posts in your event. In the middle section we have different notifications, streams and we can even search through the social media hashtags like for example Liverpool. It will show you fresh tweets, videos and posts about this team. You can even post them into your event if you'd like. The third section will display news, drafts and key points of your event and you can preview your event right there. In the right button corner you will see the number of active watchers. For now I'm the only one here. Let's go ahead and create the first post. 
Let's imagine it happened in the first period on the tenth minute and the action type is important. Select the team Porto and the player is Luis Diaz. Let's say he scored a goal. Title will be Goal. Make it a key point, because any goal in football is a key thing. In the description field we can add anything like text, links, photos, videos, etc. I'll add a short text and the image. Then I'll change the score to 1, 0. And press Add Post. If we return to our page we can see it changed without reloading. We can see our post and the key points. Here visitors can like the post and comment on it. Let's leave a comment. You will notice the comment will appear under the post in the live chat on the right side and you will see it in your dashboard as well. Let's add another post. You can add cards, polls, templates from the library, slideshows and Q&A posts. I will add a poll for my visitors. Let's ask them who they think will win the game, Porto or Liverpool. You can make poll limited by time. I'll set it with no limits and click on the submit button. If we go back to our site we will see the poll and we can vote for one of our teams. You will see the results on your site and in your dashboard as well. Now let's try to add a slideshow with photos from the match. I will add three images one by one. And then press the submit button and check the result. Ok, the slideshow has been added successfully. Visitors can check, like, share and comment on it. Next, let's go back and add another post. Let's say it happened in the second half on the 47th minute and it was important. Team Liverpool, player Sadio Mane, one of my favorite ones. He scored a goal, so the title is Goal and it's a key point of the game. Let's add some description that Sadio scored for Liverpool. Also, I'll insert the image of him celebrating the goal. And at the bottom of the screen I'll change the score and press Add Post. Now, if we go back to our live blog page, we can see that the score has changed We have two goals as two key points and our stream page looks pretty nice now. Let's go back to our dashboard and add a video post. We can paste a link to mp4 file or YouTube link. Let's go with YouTube. Click preview and it is good. Now we can press insert video. Good, the video post is there, so the visitors now can see the video of how Sadio scored. And finally, let's return to our dashboard and finish the event. On your top bar, navigate Live Blog List. Here you can find all your events. Our event is live and we can take some actions. Add news, edit, comment, get the embed code, delete, get stats and export it. I will click on the status and switch it to close and sort events but newest. Ok, now it's closed. Hope this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more useful tutorials. See you soon.